Hi everybody, this is Rick, and this video is the second video of three on how to find mountain bike trails. This video focuses on the apps and how I use them. So the first app I'm going to show you is Cycle Meter. It's the second one right there, the yellow one. Uh, I believe it's a free app. Uh, if not, it's a couple bucks, maybe, and uh, it's worth it completely worth it and you're going to see why. Uh, the second app I use is Strava. That's uh, to track your own location and uh, find other trails. Okay, so let's go ahead and show you how I use them. So the first thing I do is go back one screen. I email myself uh, these GPX files. Uh, so GPX files are the GPS coordinates of the trails so what you'll see is in the third video that I do uh, I will show you how to search out and find the trails and download the GPX files and then what you do is you just email them to yourself and as you can see I did that here so it's a listing of several trails um, and I put little notes in them just so I can see them quickly uh, for example, how much, how long it is, the distance and the elevation. Uh, so let's get started on that. Uh, let's say I'm looking at the bottom one. Uh, it's a trail called CCT. And uh, you can see I wrote down it's 8.1 miles. And uh, so let's go into here, check it out. So I sent it to myself and with a couple little notes. And you can see the GPX file attachment. All you have to do is long press it and then you just go to your import with cycle meter right there and cycle meter will import the GPX file so it says importing file and I get a green import button so I just tap the green import button super easy okay and then once it's in here the thing to do here is you just tap anywhere on the map and it actually asks you, uh, would you like to review this map in the map view? Of course I would, so I'll do okay. And then I'll tap done at the top. Okay, so what it gives you, it gives you a whole trail. Okay, because it has the GPX coordinates, or the GPS coordinates. And you can zoom in. So if you want to see where to begin, there's a start, it's got mile markers. Okay, so you can look at that. And the nice thing about this is these icons up at the top, the first one, the arrow, that's your locator arrow. And that shows you where you are, just like on Google Maps. So you can see where you are in relation to the trail. And this third one in here is the map view. It just takes you to the actual trail, okay? So, um, as you're riding, the blue dot will move along the trail, okay? And the nice thing about it is when you're riding along, you just follow the blue dot. And usually it's pretty easy to follow. And if you stray off the course, then your blue dot strays off the course, okay? And you'll know that you went the wrong way. Okay, so that's basically it. Uh, so just these two icons up here, I don't really use anything else. I don't find the need for anything else. Uh, Cycle Meter has a lot, lot of features and uh, I honestly don't find the need uh, to use them. This is uh, exactly how I use it. Uh, just a couple taps here and there and it imports your file and it's super easy to use. and. Uh, you can see where you are at every point in the ride and find virtually any trail you want. Um, my third video is going to show you how to search the trails, find the trails you want, uh, and then download the GPX files. So uh, we'll get to that in just a little bit. Um, again, this, the next app I wanted to show you was uh, Strava. Oh, by the way. Uh, cycle meter is iPhone only uh, it's not an Android uh, if you do have an Android phone 
there's plenty of GPX uh, or plenty of apps that can read GPX files. Just got to find the right one. Um, I was fortunate to find Cyclometer on for the iPhone and it works perfect. Okay, um, but Android users, uh, search it out yourself and uh, if you find anything, you can put it into the comment section of my video uh, for other people to, so that will help uh, other people as well. Uh, again, Strava, I think most of you know about Strava already. It just tracks uh, all of your rides and um, you can also follow other people. So uh, we will use Strava to record your rides and um, and the other thing, good thing about recording your rides is you can download your own GPX file and you can repeat trails um, from the past as well. Okay, so that's Strava and Cyclometer.